Imagine your life. You get into your car in one EU country and seamlessly drive over the border. You use the same currency to buy lunch and call a friend in another EU country without any extra charge. These conveniences, often taken for granted, are shaped by decisions made in the European Parliament. It's the heart of democracy in the EU, where 705 MEPs from seven major political groups represent your voice. MEPs are elected every five years by voters across the EU. And in just six months, come June 2024, we hope you will participate in this crucial democratic process once again. But how does this work? Well, in a nutshell, you vote for national parties in your country. These national parties are then grouped into larger EU-wide political groups who get a certain number of seats in the European Parliament. The laws and policies they vote on directly influence your education, job opportunities, and much more. Now, who are these European groups you're voting for? Let's explore them, starting from the largest to the smallest, based on their representation in the European Parliament today. Leading the pack is the European People's Party, the voice of center-right pragmatism, focusing on economic stability and upholding national identities. Next in line is the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats, where the heart beats for social justice in a greener Europe, representing the center-left perspective. Close behind is Renew Europe, the centrist force merging liberal values with innovative business approaches and is pro-EU, believing a strong EU means a strong Europe. The Greens and European Free Alliance follows, a left-leaning group championing environmental protection and human rights, a testament to the power of green politics. The European Conservative and Reformists bring a conservative view, advocating for EU reform and stronger national parliaments. Don't overlook the Identity and Democracy group, standing firm on the right with their emphasis on national sovereignty and a very critical eye on the EU. And finally, we have the Left group, the voice of left-wing European parties, committed to social equality, peace and human rights. As you can see, the European Parliament is a tapestry of diverse political views, spanning from right to left and from pro-EU to Eurosceptic. But who is actually leading the polls for the next election? According to the latest data from Politico's Poll of Polls, the political landscape in the European Parliament is poised for a notable shift. The EPP is projected to lose 8 seats, and the SND 3 seats, reflecting a slight decrease in their influence. More significant changes are seen in the case of Renew Europe and the Greens, who are predicted to lose 18 and 27 seats respectively indicating a potential reconfiguration of the centrist and environmentally focused blocs. Contrasting these declines, the European Conservatives and Reformists are on an upward trajectory with a gain of 13 seats, signaling a rise in conservative Eurosceptic sentiment. The Identity and Democracy group is forecasted to have the most dramatic increase, gaining a substantial 23 seats which underscores a growing inclination towards right-wing nationalist positions in the European Parliament. Conversely, the left is anticipated to lose four seats, indicating a slight weakening of the far left's presence. In case you want a reminder of what these parties stand for, you can pause the video here. Should these polls predictions materialize, the Eurosceptic IND group is set to rise dramatically in the European Parliament, jumping from the sixth to the third largest group. But there's more to the story. People good at math might note that the new total number of seats mentioned adds up to 634, leaving 71 seats unaccounted for. In reality, the discrepancy is even larger. The European Parliament is set to expand to 720 seats next year, which means there are actually 86 seats currently unaccounted for. These seats are currently predicted to be held by non-attached members who do not belong to one of the recognized political groups. For example, the 12 seats held by Hungary's Fidesz party, led by Orban. Among these unaffiliated entries, many lean towards the right, hinting at the potential for further growth in groups like IND, ECR, and even the EPP. Whether your preference leans towards increased or decreased EU integration, a stronger emphasis on environmental issues, social justice, or you have specific views on the topic of migration, there's likely a political party in the European Parliament that aligns with your perspectives. To see how your national parties align to the European Parliament's political groups, please check out the description where I've provided a link to an overview. Remember, 
your vote in the European Parliament election holds significant weight. And to stay informed and ahead of the curve, consider subscribing to our channel. We will provide all the latest updates leading to the elections, ensuring that your vote next June is both informed and impactful. Don't miss out. Subscribe now and become an active participant in shaping the future of European politics.